Um, I want to let you know that anything that you do to your own vehicle is on, at your own risk. Everything that you see in this video is just the way I did it. I am not a mechanic, nor can I give you instructions on how to work on your own vehicle. Just a little disclaimer here at the beginning. I usually like to make more professional videos than this, but for this one, I'm just going to make this simple video on my cell phone. This is I'm going to install this P3 brake controller into my 2014 Toyota Tundra. Now to start off, I removed the floor mat already, and then you're supposed to lift, lift the side piece up here, unclip it off, and then you need to remove this piece, but up here is a thumb screw, and this thing should pull out. I'm going to utilize this as my ground. So from down here, you're looking up this right here that is taped on here. That's where your brake controller is going to plug in at. Okay, so this right here is the trim piece that you're going to be replacing. But you got to get this out of the way first. Now down here, there is a little 10 mil bolt that you're going to have to remove first. And after you've removed that bolt, Give this a nice little tug, and you can move this down out of the way. This piece up here, it just pops right off. So this part, you're going to have uh, these two, and you're going to have this extra one here. I believe that's for the factory brake controller, which is more expensive than this kit. And then I got these two buttons. They're both different. They're both different uh, plugs, so I can't really get them confused. So I'm going to plug both of those, and then you got this. Now for the back of this, these you got these little uh, pinch points at the top and the bottom. You're just going to pinch them and remove them. And I'm also going to pinch and remove this blank cover. So on the, on the new one, I'm going to install the blank cover. I'm going to install the traction control. And I'm going to install the tow haul button. So now I have all of those back and installed on there. Now on your brake controllers, for the factory instructions, there's nothing about this. But I did look it up before I bought this. You're going to have to cut this little tab right here off. Or you can remove this whole thing. I believe it fits a little bit tighter if you leave this on and just cut this little cut this little tab off. Alright, so as you can see, I've removed that tab. Now this is gonna fit really tight. Some people say that this is upside down, but it fits just fine. As you can see, I've test fitted it a couple times, it's got some scratches on it. Now this is gonna fit tight, and you gotta push it down in through there. So with the trim piece. Came these two bolts. I believe these bolts came with the trim piece. Um, you're going to put them in the respective holes on each side to hold this in. Okay, so after I put them in, um, I didn't put them in all the way. There's still a little notch here. So that they can hold it in place. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach my wiring harness that came with it. It says it's from 2003 to 2008, so it was said that it fits my 2014 Toyota Tundra, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going I'm to feed the whole entire harness back here and find a good route where nothing will be pinched, and I, and I suggest you guys do the same. Once I got it back there, I'm going to plug in my plugs again. And fit this piece in there. So I haven't re haven't uh, routed my cables yet. I gone ahead and removed this whole entire bottom piece. There is a 10 mil bolt right here that is uh, that holds it on. I forgot to video that. So now I'm gonna try to find the best way to route this through here. And I'm gonna try to stay away from the airbag. 
All right, so here's my routing. See the red and white cables back there? I went under the loom for the steering column. I went ahead and I zip tied it right there on the metal bracket. And I zip tied it right here on this wire loom. I ran it, uh, I ran it all the way down here. I got that plug loose with the, from the electrical tape. I plugged it in right there. And my ground is right here. So there's that wire loom back there. Coming back around on top of the brake pedal. Or the uh, emergency brake pedal. And that's about it. So you don't use the uh, brake control harness that comes with the P3 kit at all. You use the one that comes in here. And that is it so if you guys like this video don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more automotive content i don't do as much as that anymore i do a lot of video gaming because that's just a lot easier for me to do i will start having a little bit of mountain biking hopefully on this channel i just bought that the other day i'm a pretty big guy so we'll see how that how i like that and work that out and uh i'm hoping to have a little bit more mr2 content on this channel also but yeah like i said if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below let me uh, know what you thought and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time